What's going on guys? Today we have a little video, of course. We're gonna be vinyl wrapping. I'm gonna be attempting to vinyl wrap my door handles. These door handles can take an expert eight hours or more in order to wrap this properly. But uh, yeah, I don't have eight hours per door handle. Wow. Just looking at this door handle from the other side, I can see runs from when it was painted. I never noticed that, obviously, because that's the part where nobody looks, which is under the door handle. But we're gonna get that covered up. We're gonna get that fixed, vinyl wrapped over, make it look nice and pretty. This is gonna be tough. This isn't gonna be easy. I'm gonna try to do a separate piece in this area down here. Obviously a separate piece for the actual handle part, and then maybe a separate piece for the flat area. But well, we're just gonna go for it. We're gonna clean up the surface, you know, prep it, rubbing alcohol, clean all the underside around the edges real good. Um, you know, alcohol the top, around here, just get ready for the vinyl to be laid. And yeah, we're gonna attempt this right here, right now. So here we go. We're gonna use some extra vinyl that we had from our trimmings on other parts to the car. And I knew it would come in handy one day, and uh, here we are. So we're going to be using this to wrap our door handles. Just got the surface prepped and ready with alcohol. Try to get into all the crevices, even under the latch part where it comes up. We're just going to feel it out and get our size that we need. Schnitty schnitty. Why can't I ever find that when I need it? I can never find my schnitty, bro. Of course, it was on the hood of my car. So let's trim around this and uh, see if we can't screw this up. So let's just shinity zip this down here. Perfect. Just gonna try to just cut this in half here. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Well, oh, some more dirt in there. Let me get that real quick. Again, this is something I don't expect to last just because it's gonna be used so many times. But well, I'm gonna give it my best and see if I can do it. Good enough. Man, this is gonna be tough. How am I gonna do this? I'm already stumped. I'm already stumped, bro. Knuckless tape, we're gonna do it on the body line. This is gonna be a trial and error for sure. So maybe I'll mess with this and then uh, update you guys when I have figured it out. Yeah, let's do that. So we'll see you guys soon, hopefully. So here's the first attempt at uh, wrapping the cup on my door handle, the deep recessed area where your fingers go to open up the handle. I just went for it, and uh, I could have took more time on it, but, um, yeah, here it is. Ooh, it looks pretty good from that angle. Pretty good from that angle, So you zoom out. So my plan was to actually put knifeless tape, and I did. I put knifeless tape all the way around the edge of the body line here. I don't know. I just went for it. I didn't even do a time lapse. I just wanted to figure it out. I'm going to go ahead and take the knifeless tape off. Hopefully it'll come off. I'm not sure. The vinyl isn't too tightly, you know, stuck down. So usually it's hard for the knifeless tape to start cutting. We're going to tear the knifeless tape off and take a closer look. So here it is. It actually looks a little better than I was thinking. From far away, it doesn't look too bad. And if you know what you're looking for, you'll see it. Uh, who am I kidding? If you don't know what you're looking for, you'll be like, why is that all crappy? Why is that guy's door handle all crappy? But anyways, like I said, this is just a trial run here. I'm going to attempt it for a second time, and hopefully I get better results. I just wanted to give myself a good trial run just to see what I'm up against. I know it isn't going to be fun. It's not going to be cool. It's going to suck but it's what needs to be done. Or I could just spray paint this black and be done. But no, I wanna learn how to wrap the door handle. I wanna go through the struggle and be miserable like everybody else. So here we go. I ended up just cleaning the other door handle and I'm gonna go for it and try to make this one look nice. Um, I already know what I need to do and this is how I started off the first one that I tried. Put the knifeless tape around the body line, around the edge here. That way just this separate recessed area will have its own piece. Let's go on ahead and give it another shot. Okay, well, so far so good. Um, I'm very happy with 
with this area down here. It's turning out much better than the first attempt. I did come up short on the edges here, right here, and another here, probably around this area too, but that's no big deal. I'm just gonna do another piece there. You won't even notice. Only I'll know, and whoever watches this video will know the flaws. Well, the first side went pretty well just because I have more access to it. I can lift it up and really get in there. But this side was a hundred times harder and I just had too much material bunched up at the end and it wrinkled and I heated it and I think they're adhesive lines now and they're fingers that won't come out, kind of similar to what happened on my trunk. Um, just uh, amateur mistakes and not enough practice. And I knew this was gonna be one of the hardest things to wrap. I'm still trying to perfect it. I do have, you know, three more door handles. I may even rewrap this one. I'm kind of pressed for time right now, so I'm really just trying to get these things wrapped and looking semi-good. To be honest, I think the first one that I wrapped turned out even better. I mean, minus the part where I heated it up too much, but there are less fingers on this one. It's definitely fingers, but there are less, far less than this one. Definitely some progress to be made here. More learning, more video watching, more technique, but... Yeah, got to start somewhere. Here's another look at my pretty disgusting looking wrap job. See these creases here? <sighs> Ruined it. I blew it. Uh, anyways, yeah, let's continue. So that door handle, this part right here, was really no big deal. This part's looking pretty good. So let's go ahead and lay it across here and see if we will end up uh, maybe cutting into here, maybe overlapping part of the crappy parts down here. So I just had a moment to myself and uh, yeah, I took a huge piece of vinyl and I just went over the whole door handle. Um, I kept the vinyl that I previously wrapped already on there, but I was able to lay the glass all the way along the top of this. I didn't film it knowing that I probably wouldn't do it and I didn't want to waste your guys' time, but I actually did lay the glass along this whole awkward piece. It's super hard to lay glass with one hand. You just kind of have to spread your fingers out, heat it up a little bit, and then just evenly put pressure down on it. But so far, so good. I hope I don't screw it up from here. But yeah, it's looking pretty promising. Wow, 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 what an improvement. I just put a huge piece of vinyl over it as you guys saw the time lapse. And uh, yeah, it turned out pretty good. Uh, minus this area here, this is, I actually cut this out. This is where all the wrinkles and fingering were. And I cut it out thinking that the vinyl that I put over the whole piece, I could cut it and kind of fold it down and cover that area. But clearly that did not work. And I totally didn't plan that out right. But for the most part, the rest of it looks pretty good. I just hope to improve from this point moving forward. Hopefully my other two door handles turn out a little better than this. This is a little rough, but it's just a start. <gasps> we almost have one full side to the car done. Um, we just have that huge quarter panel to do next. Uh, still a long way to go, but uh, I'm happy with the progress. Make sure your surface is nice and clean. So the first one I did, I just kind of found my handle part, laid that first, and then just kind of worked my way around. Try and centered it up the best I could. So here we go. Oh, brother. Stay calm, cool, and collected, brother. Find your center. Kind of establish our little set area here. Kind of work the air out into the escape passageways. And, yeah, have at it. Okay, so we just got done tucking the edges. We haven't trimmed back anything, we just tucked the edges. Everything went pretty smooth. Right on, right on, let's finish this baby up. Okay, here we 
we have it folks we have the completed tucked and trimmed door handle came out pretty good pretty happy with it not too shabby not too shabby so we have this part here where i just slid down really close to the handle um i realized that i wouldn't need this much excess to flap down and i was able to fold that nice and neat this is the other side here it's kind of like super sick i don't care who you are Here you have it, folks. Here you have it. Don't look too close at them because they're not very pretty, but from afar, they look pretty good. And if you keep wiggling like this, they look even better. Yeah, it's not perfect. It's my first attempt. It's okay. It's all right. Failure happens. I heard these were extremely hard, and that's why I couldn't uh, perform this task flawlessly. And I'm sorry to disappoint, but good news is there is always another time to rewrap these, but I have to continue on the rest of my car, get this thing done, and so I can go out and drive it and enjoy it. But uh, yeah, here's the door handles. Uh, the good news is these two are done, and the bad news is there are two more to complete. So yes, kill me now. Okay, I'm moving on from the door handles. Um, it's gonna be, it's just, it's gonna be the way it is. So we're gonna put these back on the door now. And I'm going in for the uh, 10 millimeter bolt. I'm gonna do this one on this side first. And you access it through this little hole as I did when I was taking them off. I have my extension here, 10 millimeter. I just put a little bit of tape in the socket just to secure the bolt when I'm trying to fish it through this hole and uh, find the other hole in there. I also have a just in case magnet just below. The way you have to enter this side, it doesn't really line up the bolt with the threaded hole very straight. So you actually have to have it pushed out in order to line it up, or at least that's what I went through. So uh, just a quick tip, it may help you, may not. It helped me. Okay, got that screw in, bolt is in nice and tight. I'm gonna put a little plug in there, keep all the bad stuff out. As you noticed, I have my window down to access this first one. And now I'm, I'm gonna roll the window back up in order to uh, access the one that goes on this side. Shouldn't be too hard to get to compared to this side. Bada bing, bada boom. Ooh, looking good. From far away, it doesn't look too bad. On camera, it doesn't look too bad. But when you see it in person, you'll know. If you know, you know. <laughs> All right, one more to go. Okay, we got both door handles back in now. Everything's looking pretty damn good. Got the door card in on this side. I still have to put in the driver's side door card, but that is only because I have to wrap my mirror and I can't get to the screws to mount the mirror with the door card in place. So I had to keep that out. I went on ahead and tackled getting off this mirror cap. It definitely was a struggle, but I eventually figured it out. Yeah, I'll try to give you guys some tips if you guys are gonna be removing your mirror cap. But I almost was going to give up and just wrap it, <clears throat> just wrap it as is on the mirror itself. Thankfully, I succeeded and got the mirror cap off. Now I can have it in my hand and get the, all the edges nice and tucked. Only broke uh, <laughs> two little tabs, a couple tabs all the way around. I'll show you how I did it. So obviously, get the mirror off. What you're going to want to do is turn the mirror sideways like that. There'll be this little cap right here. That you peel off first, it just kind of clips on. Just start prying up on the side. I started right on the corner right here. And then the other part just kind of came right off. And then that allows you to get inside here and see the clips pretty good. So it allowed me to know what clips I needed to take off. You kind of see how it hooks in on the top ones. Hooks in, hooks in. We'll see how the other one goes, but that's pretty much how I did it. Removing this little end cap really does help. So good luck. Another tip is double-sided tape on the top part of this mirror cap. So if it doesn't feel like that it's coming loose, just give it a second, kind of pry a little bit, and let the adhesive release from the back of the mirror cap. We're gonna get this mirror cap cleaned up, clean it with uh, rubbing alcohol, get it all prepped, and we're gonna wrap this thing.
mirror cap turning out pretty nice. Definitely did a lot of stretching. I'm not sure if it'll hold. I'm gonna attempt to do it in a different way on the next cap, but so far so good. Finished product right here. Trimmed, post heated, not bad, not bad, not bad. We'll see if it goes on nicely. The caps pop back on. Just gonna pop in this end cap here and we'll be ready to put it back on the car. This side kind of pivots in first right here. Pops right in, there we go. Finished mirror. Well, everybody, that's a wrap. The fenders are done. Of course, they're done. I did that in the last video. The doors are done. The mirror is done. And we're moving on to the quarter panel next. Here we go. A quick walk around of the doors and the mirror cap. Everything's done. Everything's put back in place. Everything's looking really nice. The doors came out flawlessly. The mirror cap even came out flawlessly for now. I was able to take it off and tuck around the edges nicely, as you saw in the video. Um, the door handles, you know, aren't perfect. I kind of just gave up and just said screw it they are they're gonna look the way they look i need to start wrapping the bigger panels to make it look like i'm making some progress but that's why i'm doing the quarter panel next and that'll be a fun video so stay tuned for that one 